This is what we're seeing happening in front of our in front of us as we speak. And so I hope to partner with all of you to enable India to be at the center of this new industrial revolution. Now to talk to you about some more of this and how it applies to India, I have another special guest, and you will surely know him as well. An industry pioneer, an industry pioneer. Someone, someone we can genuinely said Digital, help digitalize India. And yeah, please. And help build the fabric of the modern internet India that we know. Ladies and gentlemen, Mukesh Ambani. My friend. Mukesh. How are you? So good. Very nice to see you. Very, very nice to see you. Please sit down. Well, you know, we've been, this morning we've been talking about AI. Mm -hmm. And the last time you and I spent time together, we were talking about AI. And uh, the time before that, we were talking about AI. And uh, I, n now you could see we don't really have much to talk about aside from AI. And, and, um, I, no one, no one has co contributed more, Mukesh, to help India become a high-tech and a deep-tech India. Now, you're at the beginning of that journey. You have great aspirations. I know you have deep aspirations to help India become a deep-tech industry. And, and uh, what gives you that conviction, and why is artificial intelligence that moment for India? So Jensen, first let me welcome you to our city of Mumbai. A city Thank you. With a large heart. We are in what is the Geo World Center, which is new, which is built by my wife. So if I don't say it's built by my wife, I was instructed to say that. <laughs> I'm at her house? <laughs> in terms her house is bigger than your up. house. <laughs> And I thought your house was pretty big. Just you so know, you know, from Mukesh's house, I could see my house in California. <laughs> <laughs> so, and you know, while I was listening to you, you talked about Navidya being an exotic place. And I was thinking that when you were in India, I've got to give you my version of what... Uh, NVIDIA means to me, and I was just thinking about it backstage. Uh, there's a very important word link which is called Vidya, P I D Y A, right? And in, in Indian, in Hindi, as we are all determined to make the best LLM in Hindi, right? In Hindi, Vidya means knowledge. I knew I named the company right. I knew it. So Everybody even, said, NVIDIA, what a horrible name. You will never make it. So what it means? I knew it. I stuck yeah. with it. So you, you can take credit for this interpretation. Gosh. No problem. <laughs> right? So it still is Gosh, getting... Gosh, I'm smart. It, it, it gets better, uh, Jensen. So if we think about Vidya, Vidya is uh, Saraswati. And Saraswati is our goddess of knowledge. So when you actually devote yourself sincerely to the goddess of knowledge and you acquire knowledge, then in our tradition, the goddess of prosperity, which is Lakshmi, follows. So what you are doing... 32 is, years ago, I knew this. So our and now the story so, of NVIDIA has been revealed to all of you. So, <laughs> so our first principles right, are what you are driving Thank you. is the knowledge revolution converting into the international, into what I call the intelligence revolution. And that drives prosperity 
across the world for all, all the 8 billion people. And I think that what we are at the doorsteps of is the new intelligence age. And on behalf of everybody, I am very proud to have you as my friend. And welcome to India. And thank you for actually contributing to the world to bring the intelligence age in our lifetime. And hopefully, together with everybody, this can drive to more prosperity for all the 8 billion people in the world, and particularly the 1.5 billion people in India. Mukesh, it is, it is such an honor and such a great privilege and an incredible joy to be able to contribute in this way. And, and um, uh, as, as you know, uh, s the IT industry of India is world-renowned no world for its very large scale and not just in size but in deep expertise of computer science. Uh, very few com countries in the world has this natural resource this amazing natural resource called IT and computer science expertise. In the last couple of years, we've been working together to upskill, and we've now upskilled about 200,000 IT professionals into the world of AI. You know, what, what do we have to do together, and how can we work together to help transform India at the speed of light, really, because everything is moving so fast, to, to, to to transform India into a center, not of just IT, but a center of AI? So from my point of view, uh, Jensen, let me tell you my own uh, experience uh, in India. First, right, as our prime minister has said, that this is a new aspirational India. What we have today is we are among the only country in the world where the average age of 1.4 billion Indians is below 35. So what is driving our economy is not only new technologies like AI, but also aspirations. And I believe that uh, you know the prime minister, and I believe that his leadership in terms of converting India to a premier digital society has been vital and continues to drive activity at the ground level. So it's demography, it's leadership. The third factor is that we as Indians have the raw talent. You talked about converting 200,000 people into this, but I believe there are millions, right? If we now see India has become home, right? Among all the companies across the world, we are our fastest in growing industry is global competency centers. So we do space research in India. We do pharmaceutical research in India. I'm sure that uh, quantum, you're thinking computing. of building chips yep. in India. That's right. We are in our own energy industry, we do bioenergy industry, mm -hmm. all the energy majors, Shell, BP, right, actually do their innovation in India. Mm -hmm. So India is fast becoming an innovation hub for the world in terms of where we are and not the manufacturing hub. And, and so you know, we have, we have over 10,000 engineers here so in India ourselves. So that's yeah. like our challenge. What we also have is we also have what I call the necessary infrastructure. And we've been fortunate that we have the connectivity infrastructure, which I, is equivalent to the roads. So if you don't have roads, you will not reach your destination. So I believe that today, apart from the US and China, right? India has the best digital connectivity infrastructure, 4G, 5G, and broadband in yeah. the world. Yeah. Right? When people talk about geo, 
and you know we said we geo took india from number 158 in the world to number 1 in the world in 8 years <laughs> we as a single company didn't know anything about this domain right but today we are the largest data company in the world mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. yeah our volumes are equivalent to at and mobile and verizon combined yeah so i i would i would say i would say uh uh size of local market is quite an advantage <laughs> but let me tell you like the most satisfying piece and well, having one and a half and, billion and the customers best part, would do it. The best part still coming. That's yes, pretty satisfying. So the most satisfying piece is that as Geo, we delivered about 16 exabytes of data this year, or we will deliver this year. And the average in the US, you pay $5 a GB in the world average for data is about three and a half dollars a GB. In India, Geo delivers data at 15 cents a GB. And what, and what that means is... You don't, do you encourage your customers to use their phones? We do. And what really that means, Jensen, is a perpetual value. Yeah. Right? That technology has delivered customer value yeah. of between 500 and 700 billion dollars a year, year on year, every year, and this to is Indians. And this is the gift right. of technology yeah. to the people of India. Yeah. And this is what, right, what you described as intelligence, we can do to actually bring prosperity to all the people and bring equality to the world. And that is the opportunity why I describe this. Yeah. And this is the reason that India will be one of the biggest intelligence markets. And it's not only our aspirations, but I think it is just the raw gene pool and yeah. the raw gene power that exists in India, the youth power that exists in India, that is actually going to and drive yeah. intelligence and, is, is and hopefully very, once we drive yeah. intelligence for our domestic yeah. market right yeah we will use intelligent services beyond software to integrate with the rest of the world that's right and indians now will not only export ceos to the world's largest companies but hundreds of millions <laughs> of indians <laughs> It, it's true. I'm, it's true. All of, my, all of my colleagues, all of my friends back home, they're all Indians. All, all and, of my and, CEOs. And, and, and yeah. hundreds of millions will deliver to Satya, the world AI Sundar services and, yeah, to Shantanu. help a better world. Yeah. And uh, that is why your being here Thank you. Right, is Thank important. You. Your commitment to this country is important. And working together Right? This cannot be done by any one company, any one individual, but we all have to work together to bring this intelligence age mm -hmm. safely to the world so that we can create a more equal world, a prosperous world, and allow the global south to catch up with the rest of the world. Yeah, that's really terrific. Yeah. And, you know, one, one of the things that... that that uh, you, you've highlighted is just the immense amount of digital data that's available, um, uh, surely at Geo and in India, and this is, leads to leads to one of the things that I want to announce uh, with you. Uh, as you as you know, in order to lead in artificial intelligence, you need to have uh, AI model technology that uh, India has. You need to have data, massive quantities of data, and you, 
using a, uh, the last thing you need is uh, AI infrastructure. And uh, uh, we're, we're announcing that, that uh, Reliance and NVIDIA are partnering uh, to build AI infrastructure here in India. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, and then, and then, and then the, the thing that I will say is that in order ultimately to create that into a flywheel is one of the great advantages that India has, which is a very large population of users. And, and so now you, you have the fundamental ingredients, uh, AI data and AI infrastructure, uh, and you have a large population of users that ultimately creates your AI flywheel. The thing that, that I really love, and um, uh, when I met Modi ji, the first time he asked me to meet his cabinet uh, was to, this, this has got to be about six years ago, he asked me to address his cabinet about artificial intelligence. And I was so surprised, it was the, literally the first time any government leader uh, any national leaders that asked me to address uh, his cabinet on um, uh, this particular topic. It was long before anybody was talking about artificial intelligence. And my last visit with him, he said, he said this, and it was really quite profound. He said, I, I was explaining to him uh, the concept of uh, AI infrastructure and why it's essential for every nation to have their own AI infrastructure, like their own communication, their internet infrastructure, their roads, uh, elect energy, of course, and of course, intelligence should be part of your infrastructure and the manufacturing of intelligence should be part of your infrastructure. And, and he said this, he said, he said, it makes completely, complete sense that India should manufacture its own AI, manufacture your own AI. You should not outsource, you should not export data to import intelligence that India should not export data to import intelligence. And he said... Absolutely. And, and Mo Modiji said, it's like India should not just export flour to import bread. We should add value to the data ourselves. And, and, uh, and the partnership uh, that we have is to start that journey to build the underlying infrastructure so that India could have your own infrastructure. You surely have your own computer science expertise. And you also have your data. You have a giant population of users uh, to, to drive that flywheel. And then one, one more comment. Uh, this is the thing that, that, that he, was, he was most inspired by uh, six years ago. He said, he said that artificial intelligence has the ability to elevate um, the entire population of India. And the reason for that, I was talking earlier to him about the fact that there are so few people in the world who knows how to program a computer. Programming is not easy. Uh, here uh, in India, it's the largest population of any pro of programmers in the world. However, still programming is not easy. Most people don't know how to program Python or C++ or you know, Pascal or Fortran but, or Java, but everyone knows how to program an intelligence. And so the ability to program computers is available to a small population, but the ability to program AI is something that everyone can do. And if, if AI could be put into the hands of every citizen, it would elevate and put into the hands of everyone this incredible capability you and I get the benefit from called computers and this computer could now benefit everybody in society. And, and that, he, he explained that back to me. Yeah. Absolutely, and I think that that is why I started by saying that we are very fortunate to have a visionary leader yeah. who believes not only in vision, but in execution. Yeah. And where I... <laughs> and you know, Jensen, where I see our partnership and uh, is really, in a sense, I was waiting for your GB200s to mature because like you from first principles, I don't like uh, doing anything but the best technology. And now your GB200, right, is undoubtedly the best technology. Rukesh, and I'm looking forward. All of my technology <laughs> is the best technology. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
India, India, including the next one. India will start with what is the absolute best that you have, and I'm happy to, like, what we are doing at Jamnagar is we are now ready for big scale up. So we are building infrastructure, right? And we think big, so we are building infrastructure for one gigawatt, which can be expandable to multiple gigawatts at one location. We already have the green power so that we are not dependent on anybody else for power. We are building this so that we can scale this and as your multiple order of magnitude technologies come, we will build our infrastructure and uh, we will... One important piece that I believe is important is that for India and Indians, right, we have to repeat a geo for intelligence to be really affordable, available to the common people. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> towards that, it is important that we design and build infrastructure so that to use AI, our customers don't have to change a phone don't have to change their computers, but they can still get good quality AI, and we take the burden of putting that infrastructure together. Yeah. And I think that is what uh, we are counting on you and us to do. On top of that, right, I have, again, great respect for my friend Mark Zuckerberg, because by bringing open source, to the world of intelligence. He has given, you know, everybody yeah. the opportunity to participate in this revolution. Yeah, and Mama 3 has activated every single company, every single industry around the world. It's incredible. And what you have done with Lama 3 also, right? Thank you. Is, yeah. And all of us, we can build on top of that. And to my mind, this move of Mark will be written in the history, right? When we look at it 100 years from now, yeah. that open source, all the big things in the world have, a op have helped on open source. Li Linux was open source. Right. And I think that uh, at least from cloud an computing. India point of view, yeah, right, we can use Llama as a base model. It allows all of us mm -hmm. to develop on top of a state of the art uh, model and surely then we can fine-tune, train, retrain, do everything else and I am sure that there is somebody in this audience who is very bright and very young and we will have, right, into the future an Indian model, right, as you very rightly said, which might be 10x of Lama and that will happen from India and I hope and pray that our young people will do that. But to start off with, Open source is great. That's right. On top of that, right, all your tools, so the foundry tools that we have, we are looking forward to a development center where we take mm -hmm. core of your tools and train hundreds of thousands of developers in India to use all the enterprise tools, to use the omniverse tools so that we can really apply intelligence in a practical way and to me, this is just the starting of this intelligence age. It's a multi-decadal journey. Bakesh is talking like an engineer. <laughs> you guys, li listen, listen to him go. <laughs> He's starting to sound like a 28-year-old engineer. What do you guys think? <laughs> I like it. Uh, I like it. And that's why. That's like, awesome. That, that's what we're going to do together. That's and, yeah, uh, That's true. I can, like assure you Thank that you. Like, like we did in data in a few years from now, right? we will surprise the world with what India and Indians can achieve in the intelligence yeah. market. Thank you. <laughs> Mikesh, the, it, it will, it will um, uh, certainly, certainly we would agree that this is an extraordinary time for the world. And this is an extraordinary opportunity for India um, to have precisely the conditions 
to have such a large population and large industry of computer scientists at a time when this industry, the computing industry, is going to become the intelligence industry. Leveraging on everything that you have, leveraging on everything that you know, and your indigenous advantage, enormous amounts of data, a large population of consumers to drive that flywheel of intelligence to data, data to intelligence, intelligence to data, and have the national will to go do something about it. This is such an extraordinary time, and I am honored and privileged to be partnered with you to do this, and let's, let's, uh, let's make it a promise today that we will work together so that India could take advantage of the intelligence revolution that's ahead of us. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you thank so you. very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Mukesh Ambani. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Jensen, my friend, right? You are here only a few days uh, before Diwali. Diwali is our new year. It is where we worship the goddess of prosperity. So on behalf of uh, oh all God. of us, we wish you, Thank you a very, very prosperous new year. And to all of you, a happy Diwali and a happy new Happy year. Diwali, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank that you. was good. <laughs>